Hi everyone, we are going to responsively design this grid down here. On desktop it's 3x3, three three, it gets smaller to the tablet size, and actually I just picked 3x3 three three still, because <laughs> it looked fine, and then I get to 2x2 two two on the landscape mobile, and then I get down to mobile, and watch what happens, oh, there it is there, so bigger, and I went, I pushed it all over the edge, and I stacked it one column high. So let me show you how to do that now in Webflow. Okay, let's make our grid responsive. The moment it isn't responsive, or preview, it just kind of, let's go down to uh, tablet, and it just kind of squidges in there and eventually just gets kind of pushed over to the side. So to fix that, it's pretty easy. Uh, we're gonna start at desktop, okay, it looks fine. We're gonna look at tablet, and it's probably fine on this size. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. And on mobile landscape, okay, it's getting too tight. So I'm gonna break it into uh, different columns. So what we do is we click on the grid. Okay, so if I click inside there once, there's my grid. Over here in layout, I'm gonna edit my grid or just click on the little option in the corner. Okay, and what we're gonna say is over here on this view here, I don't want it to be three columns. Okay, one, two, three, I'm just gonna say delete one. And it doesn't delete the actual content of the columns, just the available columns that the things have to go into. Does that make sense? So it ended up just pushing down to the next one. Created a row, auto, okay, just wanted to push down another row. Let's do tablet, let's go down to here. The problem with my layout though is it doesn't look very good at, you know, two by one. And it's a design choice that next time I'm designing something, I can decide that this first one maybe is better to have four columns to start with because then it breaks down nicely to two okay so up to you make those decisions yourself sometimes you have to live with some strange layouts with responsiveness and um, you'll also notice that if you change between breakpoints which i do all the time the columns thing freaks out like <laughs> you're like what, you, what i've never seen it over there before but it just doesn't like it okay so turn that off okay and if i go back into it it will be fine but if you try and change it while you're in here, it kind of freaks out. But turn it off, come back in, and it's just fine. So uh, on this one here, on my mobile, um, I'm just gonna stack them all on top of each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all of the columns. You have to have one column, okay? So I've got one column, and then it's just gonna populate as many rows as it needs. Cool, let's have a look. Let's go to preview. Let's expand it up so it looks fine on mobile and eventually gets to a break point and goes to my ugly layout, and then back to three, and then big three. Nice thing, I like it, nice and easy. Uh, let's tidy it up uh, just by playing around with some of the spacing, down on mobile especially, and um, there's some big gaps in here. Do I want edges on it? You might or might not. I think on mobile, it's, it's nice to run sometimes to the edges, so I'm gonna say mobile, I'm going, the only thing I'm gonna change is the spacing, okay? And in this case, it is to do with the rows or columns, rows. Okay, so the row has a height of 60 on mobile. Let's actually start here. Let's make sure we're not. <laughs> Let's start desktop. I like the spacing. Here, fine. Here, too big. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say on mobile landscape, I'm gonna say edit the grid, and I'm gonna say the row height. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna hit up and down. I'm gonna hit down, hold shift, Hold down, it'll jump in little tens. Okay, and I'm gonna make it 30, maybe 20, and I'm probably gonna have to do the gap for this as 20 as well for the columns, because otherwise it looks weird. Do I want some padding on the outside? I think I do. So I'm gonna go U, because it's pushing to the edges, doesn't look right on this device size. So I'm gonna say, uh, let's have a look at spacing. I'm gonna go from both sides, I'm gonna do margin. Now I'm selecting my grid, which it'll work on, or I could do my section. Okay, both of these will work. Let's do this one and drag it in, hold down option, drag it the right way, and 30 is probably gonna be good because it's gonna match everything else. And 30 doesn't match. 30 there, let's have a look. Why is 30 bigger than that 30? <laughs> you know why, you're like, hey, it's that thing. I can't work it out. Let's have a little look, let's go inside. It's because it's 20, Dan. Because <laughs> Dan's an idiot, there you go. Uh, so let's do 20, both sides, 20, and 20. <laughs> All right, let's go look at mobile. And that's why we did it up there, and not just in here, because actually it looks okay here. No, I wanna push it all the way to the edge, so I wanna get rid of that 20. So remember, zero, and zero. I am happy man. There we go, our grids are laid out. They're responsive, 
let's give it a test. Small, awkward, <laughs> fine, better, well actually best, let's call that one best. All right, that is uh, grid responsiveness in Webflow. That my friend is the end of the video, uh, but not the end of the course, uh, the video you just watched. Um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.